What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and to be notified for future readings. This free channel collective reading for all signs, Cap Two Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with your rest. Free channel collective reading. Love you guys so much. All right. So I received another channeling. I hope everybody's doing well. On 11 20 ish 2022, 143 p.m. I think it is. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. Okay. So the channel message I received was a Libra masculine I heard in your community. I heard your fem energy. So there's a Libra masculine in your community, fem energy, and your fem energy. I heard he is single. He is single, legally single, and you are legally single. I heard he wants to come towards you to date you, but he knows about your past. And um he knows how wrong you were done, and he basically doesn't want to hear about the past. He doesn't want to hear about the past. He doesn't want you to talk about the past. He doesn't want anything to do with the past. So, he was romantically interested in you, and he wanted to date you, but it sounds like he don't want to put in the work. So, he's about to move on and start dating other people. That's basically what I heard. So, you plug it in how it resonates. It's very interesting. Um... You were severely abused and exploited. You were severely abused and exploited. So you were severely abused and exploited. But he's interested in you romantically. So he finds you physically attractive, aesthetically pleasing. But he doesn't want to hear what comes out of your mouth, basically. So he likes the way you look. But he don't want to hear what comes out of your mouth. Basically, all the abuse and exploitation of the past. So basically, he's sexist. So basically, he's sexist. He just wants to reap the benefits of a, probably a sexual connection or romantic connection, like a physically, aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing connection. But he doesn't want to have to hear of all the bad things, the abuse and exploitation you were put through in the past, man. But I heard he's about to move on. He's about to move on. So that's good. So at least that sounds like a bullet dodge. I think I might title this a bullet dodge. I didn't hear a sign on you. But uh, it's a Libra masculine in your community, ma'am. But he's about to move on. So he's about to move on and start dating or whatever, whatever, whatever. He's going to leave you be. So that's good for you. Because if he can't handle the truth of what happened to you in the past, he doesn't deserve to be with you, ma'am. If you might need to hear that. Okay? Okay. Let's pull some cards. This is actually about to benefit you in a huge way, feminine energy. This is actually about to benefit you in a huge way, fem energy. So, fem energy, this is actually about to benefit you that he's about to move on. Because, and like I said earlier in here, he knows of the known abuse and exploitation of you in the past. He knows about it. So, he basically doesn't want you to speak. He don't want you to speak. He don't want you to talk. He don't want you to express all the horrible things that happened to you in the past, which you have every free right will to do so. But he don't want to hear about it. God forbid he hear about it. He just wants to basically date you or be seen with you on uh, him, with you on his arm, physically and aesthetically, and probably fuck you. But he doesn't want to hear. He don't want to hear what comes out of your mouth. But he knows about it. Yeah, it sounds like it's good for him to move on. And that's just the truth. And good for you, too. Because if somebody truly cared about you, they'd want to hear about your past, and that's just the truth. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Or someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. Prosperity. I heard this is going to be very well for you. Ma'am. Number five could be a very significant number in one's life. Number five could be a possible age of viewers by your connected to or any, any other significant number. Number five. He thinks it's too much work. He thinks it's too much work. But he's going to seriously regret it in the end. Trust it. He thinks it's too much work, but he's going to seriously regret it in the end. Trust it. So he's going to regret it in the end. Um, I wonder if he's going to have trouble dating or finding a stable, dependable, reliable partner or a um, committed partner, one that won't cheat on his ass or put him in sneaky links or um, third parties. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> just saying, just saying. But um, I heard he's going to seriously regret it in the end. I think you're about to come into prosperity, or maybe he's in prosperity. 
um, how that resonates. He might be in prosperity. He very well may be. I feel he probably is. He just don't want to hear what comes out of your mouth. He just wants you as a side piece. Not like a side piece, but like an arm piece. But you can't speak. So like sexist energy. Nay, nay. That's not equal white rights, if anybody needs to hear that. It's not equal white, equal rights. Nay, nay. But I heard it's going to benefit you, fam energy. And he's going to regret it in the end. Prosperity. He's going to run into very mouthy females, very mouthy, with similar stories of yours in the past. He's going to run into very mouthy females with similar stories of yours in the past. So he's about to pass you on because he knows that you're known abuse and exploitation in the past. But I heard it's going to benefit you. I think you're going to run into prosperity or you already are into prosperity. But it sounds like he's going to move on in the dating department. But I heard he's going to move into very mouthy females, move to, on to very mouthy females that have similar stories of yours. So he doesn't want to hear about yours out of your mouth, but yeah, he wants to be seen with you on his arm. But his negative karma sounds like he's about to run into the same type of situation that people have done to other uh, these other females in the past, and he's going to have to hear about it. Because you can't reap the benefit of dating somebody if you can't hear the words coming out of their mouth. He might need to hear that. And that's just the truth for Oprah. If anybody needs some dating advice, let's pull another one. Spirit message is here. I heard he thinks it's too much work. So he thinks you're too much work or the situation's too much work or something. But what he doesn't realize is when he moves on with the dating, um, it's going to be just as much work. Any relationships require work. If you might need to hear that. A little dating advice. Relationship advice. 935 can be a very significant number. Number 9 or 35. It can be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 9 or 35. We have trust and letting go. You trust in the universe. You are a very free-spirited individual. This is about to benefit you in a huge way. He's about to move on. And he's about to trust, trust the universe, too. Okay. Oh, okay, so, ma'am, you're a very free-spirited free individual, and I heard you're about to trust, you trust the universe, and you, you, are, you move on in the universe. You let the universe free-flowingly take you wherever the universe needs to take you. So, you already, I think, I don't know if you're dating or not dating. Um, you're not dating. You're not dating. You're not dating right now, ma'am. You're not dating. So you have let go of dating situations or what have you, what have you. I um, mean, I know some of you guys let go of dating situations for reasons. Um, like I've been celibate for three years and I haven't dated in like six. So, I mean, that's just my story, but everybody's story different. But you have let go of the dating pool, basically. But he's about to re-enter it, basically. And I heard he's about to trust the universe and go too as far as dating. So he's about to let go of the situation with you, ma'am, and trust the universe and start dating in the dating pool. Going with the flow of the universe. Number 24 could be a very significant number. Number 24. Well, that's how we all should be. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.